It's a DIY pulse oximeter I developed. This one can assembly with only 3D printer and general cheap parts to avoid shortage of stock by COVID-19. It's the content of this video. First, I explain the development background. Second, I try the breath hold test as the operation check. Third, I show you the internal structure with 3D animation. Fourth, I introduce related videos to understand and assemble this DIY pulse oximeter. You may master the pulse oximeter after watching these videos. Ok, let's get started. First, background. The pulse oximeter can detect the deterioration of COVID-19 symptoms. But due to the shortage of medical goods, we should give them to the medical field. So, we will consider to create pulse oximeter by ourselves. Actually, there are some reports who made it using a pulse oximeter module such as MAX 30102. However, the pulse oximeter module is also shortage. Therefore, I have developed the DIY pulse oximeter that can assembly with cheap and general parts which will not need to worry about shortages. I release it under the Creative Commons license. For more information, please see the description of this video. Please note to follow your local laws for medical and commercial use. Second, breath hold test. I try the breath hold test to check this DIY pulse oximeter operation. Now I started holding my breath. The waveform of the background video shows the real-time values. The red line is the pulse wave measured with red light. The blue line is the pulse wave measured with IR light. The green line is spoke too, and the orange line is heart rate values. Spoke to value went down a little, but this is due to the turbulence of the waveform. My heart rate is a little faster, but the measured value is correct. SPO2 is calculated from the transmitted light ratio of the red and IR. For details, see general pulse oximeter principles. The displayed pulse wave is calculated as shown from the transmitted light beta. Therefore, although the pulse wave and transmitted light are strictly different, the amplitude of the red pulse wave increases as SPO2 decreases. When SPO2 is about 85%, the red and IR pulse waves have the same amplitude. I suffer from lack of oxygen and strength will be applied to muscles. It disturbs the pulse wave form. But, since red and IR have the same distortion, it doesn't strongly affect the SPO2 value. SPO2 went down. I resumed breathing. The blood pressure increased and the pulse wave amplitude increased. Fresh blood goes around the whole body. At this time, the concentration of O2 suddenly rises. The absorption coefficient of red decreases, and the transmitted light of red has a slope. The amplitude of the red transmitted light becomes larger than the actual value, so SPO2 is displayed smaller than the actual value. Therefore, this SPO2 value is not correct. This phenomenon can also be seen in general pulse oximeters. This means that the DIY pulse oximeter is not inferior. SPO2 has returned to saturate state. 
Now we know that this DIY pulse oximeter is working properly. Third, internal structure. I show you the internal structure with 3D animation. At first, I will introduce the internal structure of the controller part. This controller part consists of 3D printed parts, Arduino Nano, 1602 LCD, and main board. Design data can be downloaded from my web page. It's main board. Used components are Arduino Nano compatible, op amp, NPN transistors, NMOS transistors, a red LED, resistors, capacitors, switches and a buzzer. All parts may be available at parts stores in your town or your parts stock. Because all parts are THT, you can also assembly with universal board. Next, I will introduce the internal structure of the probe part. This probe part consists of 3D printed parts, LEDs, screws, nuts, springs, and phototransistor amplifier circuit. This design data can also be downloaded from the web page. The phototransistor amplifier circuit can also be assembled with point-to-point -point construction. Fourth, related videos. I prepared six videos to understand and assemble this DIY pulse oximeter. Although there is a lot of volume, these videos will help you understand and assemble the DIY pulse oximeter. First, introduction. It's this video. Second, general pulse oximeter principles. In this video, I will introduce the principle of general pulse oximeter in order to understand this DIY pulse oximeter. This may be a little difficult. You can assemble this DIY pulse oximeter without watching this video. Subsequent videos are available in Japanese and English. Third, circuit operation. In this video, I will explain the circuit operation of this DIY pulse oximeter. You can also assemble this DIY pulse oximeter without watching this video, but I recommend you to watch this video for a deeper understanding. Fourth, Program Explanation In this video, I will explain the program of this DIY pulse oximeter. The first half of this video introduces how to set parameters and write a program. Please watch this video before writing the program. Fifth, Assembling Probe. In this video, I will show you how to assemble probe part. Please watch this video before assembling the probe. Sixth, Assembling Controller. In this video, I will show you how to assemble a controller using a Model A board. I will also demonstrate resistance tuning. Please watch this video before assembling the controller part. That's all. Thank you for watching. This project involved a lot of hard work. I would be happy if you could share this video. Also, please like and subscribe.